so it's like four in the morning. Um, as you can see, you can see the sun's just like barely starting to come up, and my dog had to go pee, so I let her out to pee, and she instantly went and caught these two baby mice. She like instantly went and caught a mouse, and then I took that mouse from her, and she went and caught another one. And I had taken the first mouse, and now the second mouse, and I brought them up here because they didn't seem like they were doing that good, and they're like, they're literal babies. Um, they're literal babies, like their eyes are like barely open. So, like, I don't know where the mother mouse is. Um, I'm not really sure how to care for them, but they're these two little babies, and I don't want to just leave them out there. Like, they seem to like be in shock. They were breathing real heavy, but, um, I brought them in and was able to um, get them settled down here and their breathing has calmed down a little bit. They're not like heaving. Their chest was like like thumping really hard um, and they were like curled up in this tight little ball and it was really sad so I just held him like this and brought him in and um, just held him for a while until his breathing calmed down and then I set up this little thing for him. So I'll show you where the mouses are now. Um, so here they are now in this little area here. There you go. There they are. So, see, they're still breathing kind of um, a little heavy. At least one of them is. Um, that's the one that was injured a little bit more. Um, or, like, literally, my dog literally had it, it, like, in her mouth. She picked it up and then she dropped it and then she grabbed it again. So, I'm hoping he makes it. And then the other one, um, the dog just grabbed her for a second, so I'm hoping, hoping she's okay. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least one of them, because I looked under their little butt. <laughs> but yeah, so I put them in this little travel cage thing, and I don't really even know if they're able to eat on their own, but I have this little mix of vegetables here, and then a little shallow pan of water, because I don't want them to, like, drown in their water dish or anything. Um... And then I was able to feed them because I didn't I didn't know where the mom mouse was. If I could find the nest, I'd just put them back with their mom. But maybe the dog got the mom or the cat got the mom. I don't know. So I'm hoping to raise them at least until they're able to be out on their own. And I can release them back outside in a few weeks when they're a little bigger and healthier. And have their eyes open and can fend for themselves a little better. But they're just these tiny little baby field mice and they ain't doing so hot. But yeah, I was able to feed them. This stuff here, it's like ground up cornmeal and some of my bird pellets because the bird pellets have like vitamins and stuff in them so they're pretty hardy. You can use them for pretty much anything like, like you know rodents and anything will eat that and be okay. Um, it's just a lot of like corn and stuff like that. A lot of corn and different grains and stuff so there's that and I was able to feed them with this little tiny syringe. I put it to their mouth and just like did this and slowly pushed some out and let them gobble it up. Um, and I only got like probably, each of them probably only ate about, probably about that much and that's like half of it dribbling on their chin, but um, but yeah, I feel better that at least they got some food and water into them. Um, I tried to dry them off as much as I could because they got water all over themselves. And yeah, they're cuddled up in here. This one's still breathing really heavy, but he might just be scared. I hope he's not injured too badly. But yeah, I'm almost glad there's two of them. Um, I mean, I'm not glad that or hurt two of them, but um, at least they have each other to cuddle up with. It'd be hard with just one. Um, they're probably litter mates anyway. They probably came from the same nest. Oh, hi, baby. You okay? You all right there? Yeah, my birds are making a racket over here. They need their cage clean too, but... Hi, Hilo. What's up? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, pretty bird. Hello. Nobody likes to bite me. You trying to bite me? Anyway, they're making a racket. Hopefully they don't bother the babies too much. Yeah, here they are. Um, I know my mom's gonna get mad at me for rescuing little baby mice. She's like, I don't like having mice in the house. But she's like, you rescue them and then they come in the house and blah, blah, blah. But I can't leave a little baby out there to die. I just can't, can't do it. But yeah, all right, we're gonna close this. I'm probably gonna put a, here, put that down a little bit so they stay more cozy. Close that. Lucky I have this little travel cage for the birds. That's what that is. And then I'll put it on here. Get my flannel. There we go. I want to get 
a draft from the window there. And when it warms up later in the day, I can take it off because the heat from the window will actually do them good. But for now, I'll keep them covered. I'll get them a little air. I mean, their eyes aren't even open, but they're like just barely starting to open. All right. Good night, guys. All right. Good night, birdies. Yeah. You clean your cage later too, huh? Peekaboo. Hey guys, so um, it's a little later, um, it's a little later in the morning now, um, I went back to bed after I took care of the mice that I brought in and um, it's about 11.30, almost noon now, and um, I'm really happy to say that the mice survived, um, survived through the little ordeal they had with the dog. They're actually in the cage here and they're getting a lot more active. So I think they made it through, which is a good sign because I think, they, I mean, I guess they made it through whatever the trauma was from being attacked by my dog. At least they made it through that. So now I just got to keep them alive <laughs> um, for as long as it takes for them to you know, be able to be released, I guess. <laughs> it's gonna be so hard to release them now, they're so cute. But yeah, here, I'll show you them. We're gonna do another feeding for them now that it's been a few hours. It was like, what, 4.30 when I took them in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Yeah, it's been about six hours, so they should be hungry. Um, not quite exactly sure how much. They seem to be like maybe about 10 days old, so I can at least you know, I don't have to do like one to two hour feedings, but I am still going to have to feed them quite often. So they seem pretty hungry now. Um, I tried to feed them more of this stuff and I don't know if they just ate it earlier because they were so like traumatized and just wanted to put something in their stomach. It was kind of mostly water earlier when I gave it to them too. I didn't want to add too much of the cornmeal to it. I wanted to just, since they were in trauma, I just wanted to give them water with some sort of sustenance and vitamins, but they don't seem that into it right now. So um, I I went and warmed them up just, just a little bit of cream with um, some almond milk in it so um, I have to get some sort of formula or something for them but I think they're like kind of at the stage where they should be transitioning from formula to real food anyway like their eyes are just barely opening so yeah we're gonna do another feeding with them now and um, sorry I look a mess but it's been a hectic morning <laughs> I was not expecting to take in baby mice so I'll get them out here Where'd you go, guys? Oh, you hiding behind your little cozy over here? Here you go. Yeah, I think they're hiding back here. There's you up there, they're under it. <laughs> Hi, what are you guys doing back there? But yeah, see, they're a lot more active now. They're sniffing around and moving around. Yeah, they huddle together. It's almost good that there's two of them because they have someone to buddy up with. In like a litter mate situation. Hi. I remember which one I already started feeding. I think it was this one. He's a little more wet, but here. Let's get the other one. <laughs> you could... You guys just want to buddy up to each other, huh? You don't want to come out for some food? They're so hard to pick up. They're so little and delicate. See their little eyes are like barely starting to open. Just barely. All right. Oh. Eat a little bit of milk. Oh, don't fall. Look what I got for you. Hey, you see? Oh, yeah. Licking some off my hand. Yeah, maybe if I just put some on my fingernail and you can look it up. Kind of likes that method better, I think. You want some more? Have some more. <laughs> You're a fussy baby. You're a fussy baby. <laughs> yeah, you little fussy baby. I guess he likes just looking at me. Just do that. <laughs> He's cute. You put a little bit on my finger and then he licks it. I'm trying to clean himself. Yeah, did you find the milk? Can you have some? You gotta have more than that. Mix it a little bit. Can you find it? Look okay, at right here. Right here. Right here, bud. Come on. There you go. Let me find the spot. Come on, bud. You need to eat more. You're a skinny little thing. Can I just get you right in the mouth? You're not liking anything this morning. <laughs> He's so fussy. He's so fussy. Can I get you right? Right there. Have some more. 
don't even know how much you're getting there. Not much. You're not getting much, bud. Gotta kind of squirt it and make sure it eats it. There you go. I guess that kind of works. If I squirt it right in the tip of my finger and let him lick it. He's so little. You'll be in so fussy, all right? I'm gonna put you back and see if your brother wants any. You're a big fussy baby. Thumb in that tummy, no, you're still so skinny. You need to get a little more in that belly of yours. Yeah, a little more. Yeah. All right, <laughs> we're gonna put him back and get his brother. Hold on. All right, this guy's really active. I tried to pick him up and he jumped and he fell right into his milk bucket. I Crazy little mouse. All right, here we go. Here's him. I can't really open my hand much to show him to you because he's just gonna flail out. I think he's really hungry, huh? He's really hungry. Hey, you hungry? Yeah, oh, he's gonna eat. Yeah, he's suckling right from it. Can I get you situated a little better? I know you just wanna jump and flail and everything else, but your little eyes are still closed and you can't see where you're going. Yeah, he's hungry. squared a little too much there. Yeah, because you got the milk all over you. A little more? <sighs> You're very excited. I don't know where your mama is. Oh my goodness. You're just trying to climb all over the place. <sighs> you get a little more? You're just trying to climb all, all over the place. <sighs> yeah. Put a little in my hand like I did for your other. Falling asleep on me? You go from hungry to sleepy in two seconds. There you go. Drink some of that milk. There you go. He's, I put some in my hand. He's drinking it. Hard to tell how much they're even getting out of this. <laughs> they spill it all over the place. He's drinking some though. All right. You're getting some. It's almost easier to just put it in your hand and let them lick it up because when I try to squirt it <laughs> right into their mouth with the syringe, it just goes everywhere on them. A little more. Just want to make sure they get a good amount. You're going to be like my cat. He likes to be pet when he eats. <laughs> he is drinking it. I squirt some a little bit down at a time. He's just so slow. He's just a little baby. You want to have a little more? Go on. He gets it on his paws and then he licks his paws. That's cute. I think he does almost like to be pet when he eats. He starts eating again when I pet him. Maybe he just feels more secure, like he's in with his litter mates because he's got something pressed up against him. Come on. You get some more in your paws? Careful, don't fall. You gotta eat a little more than that. How's that tummy? Well, he's looking pretty full. He's looking a little more full than the last guy. Okay guys, so it's the afternoon now and we're gonna do another feeding for um, the mice. Um, just trying to get more food in their little bellies. So we're gonna go do a little feeding for them. Yeah, they're still fairly active, um, just kind of moving around a little bit and um, they seem okay. So we're gonna try and feed them a little more. Let me go get a paper towel. All right, the mouse that didn't want to be fed earlier did. I took him out again after or after the second one ate, and I took the first one back out, and he did eat some, so. He seems a little hungry now, because he was, like, looking at the bottom of his cage, trying to lick his paws and stuff. So here he is. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Oh, look what I got. <laughs> Hi. You gotta eat something. There he goes. He's eating. Yeah. You gotta eat a little more. You little blind baby. Blind little baby. You was eating a little bit, but so picky. Here. What are you doing? There you go. Oh, he's eating some. I don't know why they like seem to like to lick it almost off your hand a little better. Yeah. 
Putting it in your paws and then licking your paws. You gotta eat a little more than that, bud. <laughs> Those little eyes just barely opening. brother or sister over there too, so. Come on. Are you falling asleep? Falling asleep. <laughs> He's falling asleep in my hand. You never want to eat when I pick you up, huh? Alright, we're gonna let you go back because you seem really sleepy. <sighs> and we'll see if your brother's hungry. Yeah, let's get your little poops. Just make sure you don't have any poops there. Get your little bottom. Wipe your little booty. Yeah, okay, you're back. Make sure you're really sibling. And then I'll reach in and get your other little bud. <sighs> yeah, this is the super active one. <sighs> this is the super active one. Hi. Hi there. Are you hungry too? Oh, yeah. He likes that. Oh, careful there. You don't even know where you're going. You don't even know where you're going. you got to be careful. It's probably how you got lost the first time out of your nest. There you go. He's eating. This little guy is so active. The other one's stubborn. He doesn't want to eat. He's sleepy. I don't know. If anyone's going to make it, it's going to be this guy right here. Hi. Can I feed you without you squirming out of my hand? I don't want to drop you and let you get hurt. Come here. You're so hard to hold. You're so hard. I don't know if there's like a special way to keep a grip on these guys without them uh, hurting themselves here. Gets it on his paws and then licks it up. Come on, let's do a little more. Can we just try to finish this? There's not much left. There's like a millimeter left. Just a tiny little bit. There's just a tiny little bit left. You can do it. Just want to make sure you're well fed. You gotta survive, buddy. There you go. We'll slurp it up. Yes. Alright, I think he's done. <laughs> Need to dry off a little bit, huh? Your potty? 
Oh yeah, you got a full belly. What kind of little full belly? You got a full little belly? You do. You do. Hey, can I just make sure you go potty okay? Hang on. There it is. There's his little poop. <laughs> All right. Yeah, my brother came over earlier and he was making fun of me. He's like, you let these guys go, they're going to be dead in two weeks. <laughs> I'm like, well, if I let them go now, they're going to be dead in about a second because they're babies and they can't handle anything. I couldn't just, I don't know, my dog tried to murder them and they're just like these tiny little babies. I couldn't just leave them outside to die. Like if it was an adult mouse, usually I just catch it and... I'll take it away from her and let them go in the woods, but like, you can't, I was about to, and then I'm like, no, these are babies, their eyes aren't even open. You can't do that. All right, let's see. Oh, oh. here, I'm just gonna dry you off a little bit. Here, here. can I get you on a paper towel to dry you? Here, I'm just gonna dry you off. I just don't want you being going back in there too wet, so you stay warm. Oh, you pooped a little more. <laughs> Did you poop a little more? Yeah, that's okay. Glad you're pooping on your own. You poop a little more? It's okay. It's okay. You can poop. Alright. So let's put Mr. Active back. Miss Pep. Miss Peppy. We'll call you Peppy. <laughs> let's put little Miss Peppy back. Because uh, she's getting squirmy again. <laughs> and we'll see if her um, little friend here wants to eat again. That's what I did last time. He was like not sure. And then he came them back in there. Go on, go back in your little cozy. And you, what about you? Are you gonna eat something? Hi, you're the slow poke. You're the little slow poke. You're getting a little more active. I'm glad my dog didn't kill you. I'm glad you're still alive. It's really hard to keep these little babies alive. Here, can we get a little milk? You wanna have some? There you go. Yes. Oh, sorry. Got you a little wet. So much of it just drips all over the place. It's like hard to know how much they're even getting. But I do see him eating some of it, so. You wanna put some on my palm and see if you can eat it? Yeah, I'm trying. You got your little eyes peeking open? All right, well, there's gonna be more of this, just me trying to get him to eat right now, so. Um, he's the stubborn one. We will get him to eat something, though, so. Um, we're gonna go, all right, right now.